Today's meditation is on Matthew chapter 6. I don't do my good deeds publicly to be admired by others. The Father doesn't reward deeds done for show. When I give to someone in need, I do it quietly, even anonymously when possible, rather than to call attention to my acts of charity. Grandstanding may result in an earthly reward, but I don't do good deeds to win worldly praise. When I demonstrate generosity, I do it with pure motives and without drawing attention to myself. I give secretly, and Father God, who sees everything, rewards me openly. The same is true of my prayers. I don't pray publicly on street corners or pray loudly in church where everyone can see and hear me. I don't pray in order to be admired by others, but I go away by myself and commune with my Father privately. He hears my prayers and answers them. What more reward could I possibly hope for? And I don't babble on and on when I pray, repeating empty phrases. I know God isn't impressed with many words, or when I make the same requests repeatedly. God knows exactly what I need, even before I ask Him. When I pray, I pray like this. Father God, may the glory of your name be the center on which my life turns. Manifest your kingdom realm and cause your every purpose to be fulfilled on earth just as it is in heaven. Thank you, Father, my provider, for giving me each day everything I need for life and godliness. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins as I release forgiveness to those who have wronged me. Thank you, Father, for giving me the strength and authority to resist the enemy and his temptations. I know that when I resist him, he flees from me. Father, you are the King who rules with power and glory forever. Amen, so be it. And when I pray, I forgive the faults of others. I know that if I forgive those who sin against me, God will also forgive me. But if I refuse to forgive others, how then can God forgive me if I remain in the perpetual sin of unforgiveness? When I fast, I don't make it obvious and pretend to be spiritual in order to gain the admiration of others. Rather, I brush my hair and wash my face and walk around tall with a smile on my face, and no one knows I'm fasting except for the Father. He knows what I do in private. He sees everything and will reward me. I don't work hard to store up earthly treasures. The treasures of this world don't last. They can be stolen by thieves, decay, and lose their value. Instead, I work diligently to store up my treasures in heaven, where they will last for eternity and never lose their value. I know that the desires of my heart are shown by what I pursue and esteem as treasure. The eyes of my spirit are like a lamp that shines revelation light in my being. When my heart is unclouded, the light floods in, so I keep my vision clear and my attention on heavenly things. If I shift my focus to the things of this world, the light cannot penetrate, and darkness takes its place. How profound that darkness would be if the light of truth couldn't enter. I cannot serve two masters at the same time, for I will hate one and love the other, or I will be devoted to one and despise the other. I cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. So I do not worry about everyday life, whether I have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Life is so much more than food, 
and my body is more than clothing. I love to watch the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, but Father God feeds them, and I know I am far more valuable to Him than the birds are. What good would worrying do anyway? It can't add a single moment to my life. And why would I worry about my clothing? Look at the flowers of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet King Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as these flowers are. I know that if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for me. So I will walk and live by faith. I forsake my worries. Why would I say, what will I eat? What will I drink? What will I wear? These are the things that unbelievers chase after. Father God already knows all my needs. So above all, I constantly seek God's kingdom and His righteousness, and all these less important things will be given to me abundantly. God takes care of the rest, making sure I have more than enough of everything I need. I refuse to worry about tomorrow, but deal with each challenge that comes my way one day at a time. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.